Hey, good afternoon. Welcome to Toddy's World. Uh, this should be kind of interesting. Uh, this says, why is the most powerful member of the house handing over January 6th footage to Tucker? Uh, well, let's find out. Not releasing the January 6th footage, but then he does by giving it to Tucker Carlson, and that's not good enough because Tucker's, Tucker Carlson's a partisan actor, and he's not just dumping the footage out. What the people want is for Kevin McCarthy to release the 10,000 plus, I think it's like 16,000 hours of footage from January 6th yeah. to let the public go through it. This decentralized investigative network. 16,000 hours is a lot of footage. There were... There were so many cameras there for that event. A couple million people, probably. And then figure out what's really going on. Well, of course, the left is particularly perturbed about this. Angry that the most powerful member of the House is handing over January 6th footage to, to Tucker Carlson. Now, I don't think it's all that bad. I think mostly good. And we are starting to see some of this footage come out. I don't exactly know if this video from D.C. Drano is one of the videos that was given to Tucker Carlson. But it shows something interesting. It shows what appears to be a man who is likely some kind of law enforcement or nefarious actor wearing an... Look, if you think that there was something amiss about the, uh, you know, the thing in 2020 where you pick the person, if you think there was something wrong there, you should follow D.C. Drano. Earpiece pulling people into the building against their will, and a woman saying, no, you pulled us in. Interesting. Well, here's the tweet from D.C. Drano. Nothing to see here. Just a guy wearing an earpiece physically forcing people inside the Capitol on January 6th and a woman calling him out on it. I'm sure he wasn't a federal agent of any kind. This is why they don't want more video footage released. Well, let me play this video for you and we'll see what's going on. Here you can see right here. This guy's pulling people in. Stop, stop, no, no. You pushed us in. You were pushing us in. And here's the guy now seen on the ground from a different angle, wearing an earpiece. The man said she pushed her, the man she said pushed her in was wearing an earpiece. And then Matt Gates said it. That's crazy. Most people believe it. And the only pe people who are pretending otherwise are those who are going to gain politically from claiming that... The, uh... Riot, I guess, uh, you know, what the, the, the people on the other side like to uh, call the insurrection. It started before Trump was even finished speaking. So, like, how can you even blame it on him? He didn't tell nobody to go over there and mess nothing up. He really didn't. Peacefully and patriotically, let your voices be heard. At January 6th, was nothing but an insurrection. Doesn't or sound it seditious. Was exactly an insurrection. Trump could have signed the Insurrection Act, but he didn't. If he would have done that, then uh, we would have for sure been looking at a civil war. The left would have lost their minds completely, uh, and we would have been in like some sort of uh, civil unrest at the very least for for quite some time. Because uh, they would have called Trump a, a dictator, and, uh, you know, everybody was already saying that he wasn't going to give up power. Well, did he do that? Did he do that? Shouldn't say nothing, but they want to hype it up to an extreme degree. Well, you have many others who are trying to be honest, asking the questions about how did this happen, why did it happen, who let it happen, if anyone. Why is it that the barricades were pulled down, but on one side the doors were opened by the police? Well, of course, we're now getting the... Yeah, so apparently, like, these, the west side and the east side, it was like two completely different worlds. The people on... There was a peaceful side, and there was a side where shit was going nuts. And the people on the... I, guess, I think it was the west side. Um, the east side was the one that got ran down. You can correct me if I'm wrong. Let me know. Uh... But the people on the other side, they had no clue anything was even amiss. The footage released to Carlson. This is from Axios exclusive. 
McCarthy gives Tucker Carlson access to trove of January 6th riot tapes. House Speaker McCarthy has given Fox News host Tucker Carlson exclusive access to 40, oh, I was wrong, 41,000 hours of Capitol surveillance well, footage that's from the a January lot. 6th riot, McCarthy sources tell me. Carlson TV producers were on Capitol Hill last week to begin digging through the trove, which includes multiple camera angles from all over the Capitol grounds. Excerpts will begin airing in the coming weeks. Carlson has repeatedly questioned official accounts on January 6th, downplaying the insurrection as vandalism. I want, I want to pause there and just say, okay, good start. What about the rest of us? I want to see this footage given out to the public the same as most other people. I'm not going to sit here and complain. The whole Ashley Babbitt thing was crazy, too. But I want like if you really look at it, there's people that have uh, I want everyone like dissected to it. See what really happened on uh, that day. I mean, don't we own it? Isn't it, isn't it public record? Carlson told me there was never any legitimate reason for this footage to remain secret. Fair point. Tucker, why don't you do a large data dump on this footage so people could start going through it, and then you, of course, can pull your selects and have your team go through it same as anybody else, amplifying the bigger stories you find. If there ever was a question that's in the public interest to know, it's what actually oh, happened on January 6th. By definition, this video will reveal it. It's impossible for me to understand why any honest person would be bothered by that. They say, reality check, the January 6th committee played numerous excerpts of the footage at last year's captivating hearings. Excuse me? Reality check? I just, I gotta be honest, guys. It's hard for me to look at these stories and keep just going through the same thing every day. We know they're look, corrupt. If they say it on the news, pretty much I don't believe it. the challenge it. is, what the opposite is day. there from me just saying the same thing? They didn't play 41,000 hours of footage. They, they are played a couple of clips. Withholding information they played just a few clips. This, and that's why people are mad. But you know that. I know that. They know that. Everybody knows. Shut it down. Are, it's time to shut it down. Again. McCarthy. I suppose the best thing we can do is try and figure out a way to send this information to younger generations so that when they come, uh, come into the voting block, when they're old enough to vote, they don't sit there believing the lies that they're being fed. But it's all about culture. Building Did you culture, watch any of the, uh, things, any of the January 6th hearings? I don't think because their ratings were too good. These young people are receiving information from cultural institutions, from TV, from video games, to YouTube, etc., that hold political messages and assert things to be true. And try as we might with these podcasts hmm. and these shows to shed a light on the truth, it's not it's necessarily exact, to crack I was through these just institutions. About to, the truth will come out. It's going to come out. Uh... Got some other stuff popping up here. Yeah, we'll we'll figure it out. The uh, the Freedom Caucus people, uh, with the slim majority in the House, they actually hold a lot of power, and McCarthy can be pulled by anybody in Congress that wants to to make a motion to to remove them. That's all they need is like I think one person. Uh. It took 15 votes to get him in. Every single vote, he was giving something up, giving up some power of the speaker. He he's he's controlled. Who do you think he's controlled by? Reach the younger generation, unless we have a cultural impact. And here's where we are. Cultural so war. We gotta win the culture war. But the woke left. Oh, they're so mad. The new republic. Oh, why are they so mad about this? Look, anybody getting any access to information is a good thing. Uh, in this regard, I mean about January 6th. The select committee obviously was die-hard left and gave us their view, and now we'll get Tucker's view. Will it be perfect? No, they should release it all to the public, but no, at least now we're getting good. partisan left, partisan Do right. Do you like Tucker? Right. No, they're mad, and I'll tell you why they're mad. They're he's mad probably the best they want part about Fox weaponized. News. Why is the most powerful member of the House handing over January 6th footage to Tucker Carlson? Kevin McCarthy's decision shows how little he cares about Fox News' long-standing gag on its own viewers. Hmm. They mention 41,000 hours being sent to Tucker Carlson. Oh no, the leftist publication is not having it. 
McCarthy's treat to the extremist TV host comes as part of the numerous concessions McCarthy made to a select group of far-right Republicans in exchange for their speakership votes. He pledged to make all the security footage oh, on January 6th public, I think which I just apparently said that. means tying it all up in a bow for Carlson to exclusively and selectively present on his shows to construct conspiracy theories with. Oh, is that is that somehow different from what the uh, January 6th select committee did? Shout out to everyone's fam uh, favorite, Jamie Raskin, who represents some of the employees here at TimCast and is only like a half an hour away from my office, who took a clip of me reading a Fox News article and layered it next to people calling for a red wedding to imply I was actively calling for people to go down on January 6th. Fortunately, I was able to write an op-ed for Newsweek calling this out and they just lie. The they lie about everything but the left man. and the, the media. And you know, like I said, maybe if they us, say it, well, I'll take it as a like, opposite up. day. Maybe it exists. I'll leave it the that. opposite is I true. I think that dude is outright evil. Thanks, I think Tim. Lies. I think that's all we need from him on that one. Um, do you think that we'll ever figure out the truth of uh, what happened at January 6th? Um, Who, do you think the feds were there? What about Ray Epps? Uh, the media got behind him, so he he must be exactly what people are saying. The fed, the government, had text messages come out that said he orchestrated everything. Like a, he was bragging about to his little nephew or cousin or some kind of shit that he orchestrated it. It's really, really odd. Um... Uh, what do you think about it? I wanted to go, honestly. I'm glad I didn't now. But I wanted to go because I thought it was like, you know, going to be a historical event. And, uh, you know, I thought that, you know, people would actually be heard. I thought people's voices would be heard. That wasn't really the case. Um, you know, if you see this before the live tonight, I'm going live at 6.45, play a poker tournament. Uh, you can stop by and watch that, or if it's in the future, you can go and check it out, uh, you know, in the live video section or the live tournament poker stream uh, playlist on my channel. Thanks for watching Toddy's World. I said it's still rough right now. We'll get better. We'll get better. Thanks for watching.